we are going to present Robert Schumann's biography now. Robert Schumann was a renowned German composer who lived in the first half of the 19th century. He was born in a German city called Zwickau on June 8, 1810. He's particularly famous for his piano music, songs, and orchestral music. Schumann is also known as music writer, editor, and publisher. He ran a magazine where he wrote essays promoting young talented composers, such as Felix Mendelssohn, Jonas Brahms, and Frederick Kaufmann. Robert Schumann's father was a writer and a book dealer. He owned a bookstore where young Robert used to spend most of his time in. He was surrounded by books and he loved to read. He also loved to write short stories. As a child, Robert took piano, flute, and cello lessons. He tried to compose. His favorite, his favorite composer was Franz Schubert. But he, and he also loved the poetry of the German poet John John Paul, Paul Richter. Richter. Good job. Um, when he was a teenager, Schumann wasn't sure whether he wanted to become a writer or a composer, but his mother wanted him to study law. When Robert was 18 years old, he started his studies at the University of Leipzig. Very soon, he understood that he didn't want to be a lawyer. He wanted to write songs, music for piano, and novels. She went to piano lessons with a teacher named Frederick Reck, whose star pupil was his daughter, Clara. In spite of the fact she was nine years younger than him, Robert Schumann and Clara Reck fell in love. Clara's father absolutely refused to let them get married. It took years and a court battle with Clara's father until they could finally get married. Clara was a famous pianist. She gave concerts throughout Europe. She was the first one to perform many of Robert's works. Also, she was the editor of most Robert Schumann's works. Robert Schumann himself did not become a pianist because of, his, of a hand injury that he suffered when he was young. Robert and Clara Schumann had eight children. When their oldest daughter, Marie, turned seven, her father gave her a small album of piano pieces he'd written for her. Later, he added more pieces and published it as the album for the young. It contains 18 pieces for the younger kids and 25 more for the older ones. Robert Schumann's album for the young, written in 1843, is one of the milestones of educationally inspired piano literature. It is the first in history of music albums of music pieces that was, that was written specific specifically for children. Later on, many famous composers took Robert Schumann's example and wrote children's albums. One of the best known albums is children's album by Fyodor Ilyich Tchaikovsky. And the next. Today we will present some pieces from both parts of the album for the young by Robert Schumann. Alright, 